Ladies and gentlemen, this is your next matchup of the evening. Once again, three five-minute rounds in the 155-pound weight division. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's get nuts, let's make some noise, and let's introduce your participants. Out of the blue corner, he is a Marvel comic book fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, 160 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Spa City Martial Arts. Ladies and gentlemen, from Little Rock, Arkansas, this is Roderick the Punisher Parker. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a Native American Kwando fighter. Five foot 11 inches tall, 155 pounds. He represents family combat. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Fort Smith, Arkansas, this is Stash the Flash Kirkendall. Rocky Demir, give him the <clears throat> give him the ground rules uh, center cage. You see, Stash the Flash, second all in black and gold. Roderick in the. I think there was a request for violence there in the corner. Kakendall comes out. Nice and relaxed. Rogers pushing Kakendall into the into the cage. Stash just single leg snatches him down. Roderick looked fairly comfortable uh, on the feet. Kuykendall is actually a, a fairly good wrestler. I think he was a good high school wrestler. Moore has a overhook on the left, underhook on the right, and a single, well he had a single butterfly that's popped out. He's an open guard. Kuykendall is gonna look to Push back, make a little space. You can hear them talking back and forth to each other in the corner. It's, it's good to see guys that relaxed while they're fighting. Oh, now they're talking a little trash. That's fun. Kuykendall's going to have to make a little bit of space here and sit back and do some damage. What he has to be very careful of is not to make too much space. We'll yeah, a little overhand right there. Mm. Parker doesn't look like he's really sure about what he's gonna do from here. He's closed his guard. More Dropping in it, some elbows there. Those elbows are illegal. What is illegal is a 12 to 6 elbow that is sky to floor. Looks like he's satisfied just to, to buy this time. The issue with having a ring instead of a cage is you can't get your head popped outside the ring and, and not really be able to land good heavy punches. More of a smart right here. He may, may lay his head back outside the ring. That's exactly what he's doing. He's laying his head down on the lower turnbuckle and just kind of relaxing. Here you see him framing, he's framing with his right arm, trying to push Kakenel's left arm down to work his right leg up to maybe start working for a triangle. Kakenel is, is landing some punches here. They're not very heavy here because, because Roderick's head is outside the ring. <clears throat> Kakenel landing a couple left elbows there. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Roderick actually has a actually has a, a pretty bad cut over his left eye. You can see it from here. Blood is starting to pool there in the corner. That's going to make things a little squirrely. 
he may have he may have hit a, a vein. Now see that that is a 12 to 6 elbow. That that should not actually be legal. Uh, Demir is looking at this to see if he needs to stop it, uh, but the cut looks like it's uh, to the left of his eyebrow and maybe maybe outside of the eye where it's not going to drip into the eye and, and bother his vision. Kakendo starting to try to pin the pin the arm down to land some punches. There's 59 seconds left in the round. Uh, Roderick's still talking. He said, Roger Sims said, hey, ref, I'm fine. There is quite a bit of blood there in the corner. Uh, there is only 37 seconds left in the round. Uh, I think the ref will allow this to go on. Uh, you can see that. Stash Kirkino is trying to go to mount. He's going to go from like a half guard to a mount, but just misses. He actually would be better off taking his left, his right leg, excuse me, and tucking it underneath him and sitting back down on Roderick's leg to pin his, to put weight on him. That was common courtesy there. Stash Kirkino actually trying to prevent spittle from dripping into Roderick's eyes. Both men have a there fair go, amount of blood. Roderick Parker looks no worse for the wear. He comes right out of Stash Kakendall. Looks like he's he's gonna try to square up, maybe throw some leather. Kakendall, the teep kick. You can hear them. Kakendall's corner asking for the teep. He's, he's, Kakendall's really searching for those hands. Woods may be out on his feet. Uh, the, 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 towel, the towel comes in. The towel comes in. The towel comes in from the corner. The towel comes in from the corner. Rocky Demir couldn't see it. Here is your official result. 33 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner by technical knockout, ladies and gentlemen, Stash the Flash Kirkendall.